Like, it's it's kind of like we're watching a manga, which is what I said about Uzumaki, but in Uzumaki's case, I meant, like, the art style, not necessarily the animation style. How's it going, Fish Fam? Welcome back to a brand new video. If this is your first time checking out the channel, what's up? My name is Gabe. You can also find me at Spartanfish pretty much everywhere on the internet. Now, this is going to be for Season 2, Episode 2 of Blue Lock. Uh... Speaking of which, I'm still in my outfit from watching My Hero. Um, it was the season finale today, but, you know, I gotta change into something more blue locky. So, give me a second. <sighs> okay, that's better. We got our official uh, Kunigami long sleeve tee. Now, before we get into the video, real quick, if you are a My Hero fan, uh, I've been reacting to season 7 on the channel, so if you haven't already seen the season finale, Watch it and check out my reaction. The finale was, it, it was pretty fucking sick. I'm not gonna lie. Now, for those of you who didn't see my last Blue Lock reaction, just to get you guys caught up, uh, I am fully caught up on the manga. I am a huge Blue Lock fan. I am a soccer player. Um, for those of you who are anime only, Aiku is the dude with the uh, heterochromia that they showed at the end of the last episode. He's the captain of the uh, under-20 team. Probably one of my favorite characters in the show. It's 9.02. This episode was supposed to be up at like 7.30 and it's still not up. Um, okay, it's not up on Crunchyroll, but it is up on uh, a, a One Piece type website, if you know what I'm saying. We're gonna be, uh, we're gonna be sailing the seas to watch Blue Lock. That, I, th I think that's, that's our best bet right now. Nobody on the internet who watches anime has ever done what I'm about to do. Um, so make sure you guys don't do that, okay? Um, don't do it. I'll know. Yeah, don't be like me. I I'm gonna do it. Uh, let's just get into it. I, I hope we, at the very least, just get to see... I, I know... We're, I think we're going to get at least two tryout games this episode. But we might only get one, considering which one it is. Yeah, yeah, you, you gotta give You gotta give the teams enough time to, you know, rest, right? That is actually an important distinction that I like that they made, is you can't... You don't get a watch until your game is over. Yep. The fucking goober Nanase. <laughs> bro, he did not want to go first at all. God, bro. I love Gagamaru's vibes. He's so fun. It's a good thing those other two are who they are. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, in theory, Isagi should just be cooked off this game. Like, he should just be fucking cooked. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm, so, I'm trying, like, to explain why I'm excited, but not, like, spoil shit for the anime onlys, you know? Wait, if you're an anime only and you're watching this, at this point, you've... You've seen the episode, surely, right? Thank God for Hiyori. Oh Nanase. Bro, Nanase is like such a wholesome little dude. But he's like <laughs> He's Nanase. I I don't know what else to say. I feel like Hiori's voice, like, definitely fits for how Hiori is, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, bro, like, the shit Isagi's had to put up with up to this point, he's just like, damn, this is so different. This is so wholesome. Bro, and they have the wholesome music playing in the background, too. 
<laughs> this is such a good introduction to these characters. Their their VAs fit perfectly. I'm interested in how Hiyori's VA is going to sound in later seasons, though. <laughs> yeah, that's just how he is, bro. He, he's just like that. The, the trial games are actually kind of cool from like a like getting to know the characters kind of perspective because you just get to like know everyone so quickly but i'm i'm gonna be honest i don't expect the animation of the tryout games to be that good i know they said they were saving a lot of their budget for uh for like the actual under 20 match yeah, no one can stop you. Except the person who already fucking knows everything, bro. He's already seen you guys play. He's seen these two cats meow. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Not the demon. Not the demon. Nope. I know. I, I already know <laughs> that uh, people are going to be shit talking this episode's like animation. Like, I already know the manga fans are going to be shit talking this episode's animation. Because it basically, it, like, it's it's pretty slow. You know what I it, It's like, it's very stagnant in terms of the animation. There's not, like, a ton of movement. Like, it's, it's kind of like we're watching a manga, which is what I said about Uzumaki. But in Uzumaki's case, I meant, like, the art style, not necessarily the animation style. Nope. First of all, that's not true. <laughs> he is not the weakest link on this team. Oh! <laughs> that looked really good, actually. Karasu just fucking cooking both of them looked good as fuck. God damn, bro. That Karasu spin. ブンセキ力で相手の弱点を特定したら最後まで徹底してその選手を潰しに来るスタイルや目つけられてもうたね、イサギ君。お、なんか詳しいな、ヒオリ。あ。あいつと関西の同じユースチームやから。ま、僕
Or no move when he joins you. Yeah, bro. He has to get in behind. You gotta wait for him to be behind. You're locked out now, bud. Yeah, Hiori's a freak, bro. Hiori's adaptability is crazy. Bro, Rin doesn't pass, bro. I don't know if you know this or not. Rin just goes for Rin. That's his strat. Everyone's like, what's your weapon? Rin's just like, bro, I'm the weapon. What do you mean? Pink. Bro takes one touch. Shoots around three people. I, I feel like we didn't really get to hear Karasu's VA a lot last episode. Bro, Karasu's VA sounds great. I hope the studio wasn't lying when they said, yo, we're saving our animation budget for the actual under 20 game. There's going to be a lot of people who are just going to be like halfway through the season like, fuck it. I don't care. I'm not watching it. It's the animation's trash. Alright, bro. Chigiri's about to go off. You can tell Chigiri's gonna do some Chigiri shit. Yep. That's where you fucking shine, bro. Bro, Chigiri's just like a fucking demon. Yeah! Alright, that I, I like that they, despite not doing a lot with the animation, they're still like, they're still saving like really great shots. Like it, like it is, like it's basically manga scenes, you know what I mean? It's like manga panels, but they're just doing them so well. Even though I know it's just manga panels, it looks really fucking good. Like, shown this way. <laughs> yeah, Lady Ninja. So I, I think they are just going to do like one tryout match in episode or something like that. Or at least like the big tryout match. Because there's definitely tryout matches that they just kind of skip over in the manga as well. I mean, but like, the thing is, if Karasu spends his whole time guarding Isagi, then their team is gonna win. You know, unless Shido and Ren just uh, lose the ball constantly fighting over it with each other. That could also happen. It, it's not that they, like, aren't linking up. It's that they're both just really fucking selfish. So they just conflict with each other so easily. Yes. Yes, Isagi. Okay. Well, listen. Listen, everyone, this is gonna be the episode, like, if I, I guarantee you if I go on Twitter right now, it's just gonna be a bunch of people freaking the fuck out and complaining. Bulak episode 2 is so ass, everything is a slideshow, I hate it. Based on episode 1, I still have a ton of faith because we know that they can make the animation look really good. And they were honest with us up front. The first half of the season, it's not gonna look that great. We're saving our animation budget for the actual under 20 game itself. The under 20 game is where we fucking cooked. Like, that's what they said before the season even came out. Uh, I did not expect this episode while I was watching it to be something that a lot of people enjoyed. But I understand why they're upset, you know what I mean? They... The only reason that I'm not as upset as other people are is because I know what... The, the under 20 match is gonna look like and I'm just like in my brain thinking about that I'm like okay the tryout matches aren't gonna look that great they're not gonna be like anything super special it's just gonna look like a fucking manga animation slideshow but the under 20 match the under 20 match is going to cook right that being said of course I'm gonna fucking keep watching it because how could I not I at this point I'm in too deep 
Uh, we're also gonna have One Piece on Tuesdays and Thursdays. We're gonna have Dan to Dan, Don to Don, excuse me, coming out on Fridays. Uh, we got our movies of the month. Uh, by the way, if you have any suggestions for movies of the month, make sure you put that down in the comments below. But these next two weeks are gonna be fucking crazy on my end because uh, we're supposed to be getting the keys to our new house next week. Uh, so we're gonna be just moving and cleaning and moving and cleaning. So I'm just gonna be doing my best to make sure that I can actually like film and edit. If you're interested in any of those shows that I'm currently watching, the movies of the month, uh, we're gonna be doing some collabs also with other One Piece creators pretty soon. Um, so if any of that sounds interesting to you or you like my blue lock reactions and want to see me glaze them despite the fact that the whole internet hates them, feel free to hit the subscription button down below. Don't forget to tap the notification bell so you get notified the next time I post a reaction video. And I'll see you guys on the next one.